We found it. Here you go, guys. This is the diamond room. Look how much diamond is in here. It is friggin' insane, man. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn on the, the Experimental Branch. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make some significant progress because I think we can now make the diamond pick. Um, the diamond uh, chisel, more precisely. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of that stuff. And okay, so I went out and did a bunch of mining and we got a whole bunch more um, ingots now of stuff. I got some molybdenum. We, uh, I was able to do titanium. Titanium's hardness is six uh, or seven, six. Yeah, six. Molybdenum is six and a half. And our chisel, normal chisel, can handle up to, to seven, so we're in pretty good shape uh, with all that stuff. Uh, I also built a, a gas tank just because that's a prereq to uh, getting the habitat down, so I got that done. Uh, we we want to build a uh, a solar panel kit too, um, so we're going to need electrum. We need electrum for a couple of different things, so let's go ahead and make the electrum first. So to do that, we need copper, silver, gold, and molybdenum. Okay, so let's get it. So here is, um, what's this? Copper, copper. There's gold. And I think the rest of it is in here. Okay, so there's copper, there's silver, and this is molybdenum here. Okay, so we need to make two things of electrum. So let's make two. And then, let's see, while that's cooking up, what else do we need for the solar panel kit? We need a wire, wiring glass. Okay, we already have all that stuff. Okay, so we have two things of Electrum. Uh, let's go ahead and make the solar panel kit. So, yeah, we are moving up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Moving up in the world. And then we're going to do our workbench upgrade. We're upgrading to the to a tool bench. Okay, let's put the solar panel thingamadoodle out. Detected here okay so let's just turn it this way facing the sun there we go okay so we should have all the prereqs in place to build our habitat structure yeah we do okay but we're not necessarily going to make that today we might we'll see we'll see how things go so now the next thing we want to do is we want to do all the stuff to upgrade this to a, t a tool station so we have one electrum we need to make a bronze and a 6AL-4V. By the way, if any of you guys have told me what that means, I haven't seen your comments yet because I've recorded uh, three back-to-back -back episodes. Uh, well, three episodes today here on Sunday. It's Sunday evening right now. So having too much fun playing this game, man. Having too much fun playing this game. Okay, so we need to make this stuff here. So we need titanium, aluminum, and iron. Uh, so here's the titanium here. And we should have everything else. So let's make that stuff. And then we need to make another thing of, of bronze. So that's copper tin and magnesium. There's the magnesium. And uh, we already have the copper. Where's the tin? Is it in here? Yeah, tin's right there. Okay. And we'll make the bronze. Okay, we should have everything we need now to make the tool station upgrade. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Let's do it. Okay, upgrade, baby. Um, uh, up here. There we go. Yeah, I really like this new setup. So in, instead of having to have separate tables, we just you have one workstation and we upgrade the workstation itself and add the components to it that we need. Oh, very cool. Okay, so... Now, if we go into here, let's see. Diamond chisel. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful thing, you guys. That is a beautiful thing. Okay, so I have diamonds in here. I have a diamond in here. Chisel is on our toolbar. So, here we go. Look at the... Oh, shears. What are these used for? 
a botany kit. Oh, a multi-tool. We can build a normal multi-tool. Oh, that is freaking awesome. Okay, so here is our diamond pick. It has a hardness of 10. We are rocking and rolling, baby. Rocking and rolling. Okay, so what does the botany kit do? It looks almost like a syringe. It has 30% critical hit. Is the, Are these just weapons? That has 30% critical hit, too. We've got to make one of these, you guys. Absolutely. So we need a... All we need is gunmetal. we got everything else. Do I have gunmetal? I think I do. There it is. Gunmetal. Ha ha! And here she comes. Oh, we're missing something. Circuit board. Wait, what? Hold on a sec. Let's go back down here again. We're missing a circuit board and a battery. Oh, okay. Okay, so circuit board. We're in, in the protection of that big pillar from the storm. Uh, we have one circuit board. We can make some more with these later if we have to. Um, and then for a battery, we need lithium and silver. So let's see. Lithium is in here, I think. Yep, right there. Okay, let's make a power cell. We'll be able to make the wrench now, too. And we can compare the wrench uh, to the the regular multi-tool and see if it's actually better. Um, okay, wait a second. We have a battery. Okay, so this thing requires an actual power cell, but this requires a battery. And so, even though the icon is exactly the same, I'm guessing that a battery is something different. That's what my guess is. Very interesting. Okay, so probably, guys, we have to make either a fabricator or we have to make a 3D printer. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, we have to make either a 3D printer or we have to make a chem station. Let's look at what that entails. So uh, utilities. So this is what a chem station requires. It's going to require steel. Uh, the printer is going to require the NI slash CR thing and steel, which means we got to go get carbon. But we can do that because we now have a diamond chisel. Yay! Okay, well, I guess what I'm going to do, dudes and dudettes, is I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm going to go harvest a whole bunch of carbon. Um, and, yeah. Whole bunch of carbon. I, I got some nickel uh, when I was out and about uh, right here. So we have nickel to make that, you know, that alloy that we have to make. Um, the one that, you know, the NICR stuff. So, yeah, I need carbon. So I guess we can't proceed until we get carbon. I got a fairly decent amount of iron, too. We got a full stack and then some more there. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. I'm going to take uh, our handy-dandy new... Whoa, look at that. It's even got a diamond on the end of it. That is hilarious. <laughs> I love it. Okay, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go here. I'm going to go get a bunch of carbon. I'll bring it back, and then we will go from there. Don't go away. All right, guys. Um, I thought I'd bring you back and just kind of show you where the this methane pool is. So this is a, a, a little pool of methane. There's actually two. I found another one of these two in... Uh, the blue forest, the one with all the blue grass and with the weird, um, uh, what are they called? The big kind of fat, hairy tree things, I think. Um, so anyway, if you're curious, this spot is, uh, let's face north. So this spot is 5.5 lat and minus 8.4 longitude on the map. And so, yeah, um, lots of carbon and lots of iron in this area. I've already mined a lot of the iron, but uh, we're going to get some more too. And uh, the diamond chisel is just rocking and rolling. I've already got uh, already got over two stacks of carbon, and the durability on this thing is just amazing, as you you know as you should expect because it's a diamond tool, right? And so yeah, I'm just uh, gonna continuing to get more iron. We're gonna need a bunch of iron and a bunch of carbon so we can make steel and you know all the other stuff that we need to make. Go away! I did not invite you to my party. 
And then, um, you know, the other thing too, I right after I left you guys, um, I looked at the upgrade for the forge, and we have all the stuff uh, that we need to make that too. So we'll, when we get back to camp, uh, we'll make the forge upgrade too, which is going to then allow us to make uh, the guns, which is going to be fan freaking tastic. So anyway, uh, yeah, just wanted to show you where this place is. Uh, if I the next time I come across that other pool, I'll write down the the coordinates of it and then you know let you guys know where that is too if you're curious just let me know in the comments but kind of doesn't really matter as long as you know where at least one of them is now the other thing too is let's see can we drink all of this yeah okay so let's take this jar because we're supposed to be able to fill this oh that looked like it took the pool down I couldn't say for sure. I'd have to go back and watch the recording, but it kind of looked like it actually reduced the size of the pool. That's very interesting. I wonder if it will fill back up when we have a methane rainstorm. The other thing I'm thinking too, and I don't know this for sure yet because we haven't gotten into vehicles yet, but I wonder if methane is now the fuel that we use for vehicles instead of hydrazine. Very, very interesting. I, I'm pretty sure the water line went down when I filled this up, but I couldn't say for sure. So I'll go back and look at the recording, but yeah, very interesting. I mean, it makes sense, you know. Uh, well, I don't know if that it should have gone down that drastically with just that little jar, but anyways, kind of neat uh, if that is in fact the case. Otherwise, maybe I was just imagining things and who knows. My guess, though, is like I said, that um, this probably fills back up when it rains because this planet or, or this moon, you know, rains methane, of course. It doesn't rain water. Oh, there's a little pool down there, too. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this area, uh, and I will meet you back at the camp, and we'll proceed from there. All right, guys, we are back, and uh, here is what we came away with. Uh, for ores, I've got one, two, three full stacks of carbon and a little bit more, and I have two, about two and a half stacks of iron, plus I hit a couple of meteorites. Uh, you actually get plutonium and uranium and lithium from the meteorites, um, so that's kind of interesting. I wonder why it only drops uranium in individual pieces though um so let's put that stuff in there lithium can go in there um my diamond chisel uh f with all of that mining uh if you if you look in the second slot there it's still in really pretty good shape we're gonna go ahead and of course repair it anyway but uh, that lasted a long time which is awesome let's get that repaired too pretty soon we're gonna be able to do away with with having to use melee uh, all right, so let's see here. We need I need a place for this uh, plutonium, because that's actually the first plutonium I have uh, gotten so far. So let's go ahead and I think before we start making mass quantities of steel, I want to find, uh, where's the nickel? Yeah, because we needed to make a couple of, of these... Uh, of these guys here. So let's make a couple of those. Something that occurred to me too, and I, I completely forgot about this uh, when we were playing multiplayer, but the game the game does not actually consume the materials that it requires for you to do these upgrades in these builds. It's really weird. Um, and I completely forgot about that. And I even had put all my stuff back in my storage chests before I remembered that that was happening. So, um, you know, there's a few things here that I basically got back, you know, that we had used for some stuff. And just because, you know, things are kind of broken, I'm not really too worried about it, to be honest with you. But what I will do moving forward is whenever we make something new, uh, we will take all of the materials and we'll just throw them away uh, as if they were consumed um, from this point forward, okay? Um, so yeah, there you have it. All right, so let's do the upgrade for this first. So we need a circuit board wire, a power cell, and talonite. I actually found some talonite when I was salvaging. Um, I, I have two pieces of that actually. So oh, let's grab that, and then uh, we have a bug attack here. Uh, let's grab some wire and circuit board. What else did it say we needed? Upgrade. Uh, that's it. Okay. So high precision upgrade adds a high precision machining module to the forge to allow the creation of firearms and ammunition. Yay! That's what we want. That's what we want. Okay, get this. Get our little welder guy down here. And 
Let's cook it up. Craft it up, cook it up, whatever. And uh, we should be able to start the guns now. Okay, let's take a look. There we go. Pistol, assault rifle, um, and the rounds for that, including the diamond rounds. Ooh, that, that requires three assault rifle magazines. Before it was only one. How interesting. Okay. Um, so now we actually have, already have a couple pistols, you know, that we just looted from stuff. So I think I'm going to make the assault. Oh, we need Zircaloy. Okay. Oh, we can make the wrench. That was one of the things we wanted to do. Uh, so yeah, let's make the wrench. We'll compare it to the, uh, the, um, whose one was it? Why can't I think of, uh, you know, the multi-tool thing. <laughs> the multi-tool, yeah. <laughs> My brain's like, Bleh. it's actually getting kind of late. I need to go to bed here pretty soon. Um, so this is, yeah, we'll, we'll try that out and see how it goes. Um, so we could make these. So let's look at this. This has a clip size of 20. It does a damage of 40, give or take 10 plus five critical hit. Damage of 50 plus 20 critical hit. Yeah, I mean, diamonds are not going to be a problem. You guys will see when I take you into the cave. A blaster cell. Is this what we need for the pistol? Fires a charge blast. Because you know what? I actually found... Uh, where did I put that? I found a couple blaster cells. Do these go in the pistols? I think I put those in here. I don't know why that little LED thing's not working. Uh, looks like this one's in the best shape. Let's put that there. Ah, oh, they do. Oh, look at that. All right. We could have actually been using this all along for all of six shots. <laughs> all right. What do blaster cells require? It looks like we might, it might be a while longer before we can do the assault rifle unless we luck out and find one, uh, which you can do because my buddy found it on multiplayer. Um, so for blaster cells, we need... Power cells in die malloy, and die malloy uses silver and copper. That's not bad. That is actually not bad at all. Um, and the cool thing here is we don't actually have to make the pistol because we already have one. It would have cost us those materials. Not that that's super expensive, but hey. Um, fan frickin' tastic. Okay, guys, we are now in the gun age. I don't think we need. You are one big homie. I don't think we need the crab scythe anymore. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to put this one in here uh, just in case, and I'm gonna we're going to just drop that. Okay, so um, what were we going to do? So we did the upgrade. Oh, we need to make the printer and the chem station. I think that was the next thing we wanted to do. Um, so let's go ahead and... Oh, that looks like it's coming right for me. Oh, crap. That actually hurt me. Did you hear my character go, Ugh. Oh, I bet it was that guy that did it. Woo! <laughs> well, I guess uh, special uh, Pluto plutonium, uranium, and... Li hey! You're not supposed to be in here. Delivery. Get the hell out of here. All right, now we're out of ammo, so we're going to have to use this on him. I can't hit him. Oh, right. Um, right before I started the camera, I have the third-person melee weapon bug. You know, this guy is going to, like, land right in the middle of our camp and just be a big pain in the ass. So let's bring him out here. Hey! You bastards. Diamond chisel, man. It's not just for mining. Yeah, sometimes in this game, third-person melee does not work. It's completely jacked up. Okay, sir, would you please get out of my camp? I don't even know how the hell you got in there in the first place. See, I don't, I don't want to take him down inside the camp because he, if he happens to, like, you know, his leg gets buried underneath him or something... 
I might not be able to harvest it, and we have to wait for him to disappear, which takes a couple minutes. Well, we might not have much of a choice, because he's not going away. I did not invite you to my party. You about ready to die, homie? Okay, you know what? Son of a bitch. Let, let me get this back out. I put that away just a little too soon, didn't I? Let's get our 75% critical claw, crab claw weapon on this guy. Oh, good. He, he kind of died out that way, too. Oh, man. What a pain in the butt. All right. Let's go over here. Get this repaired back up. Maybe I better keep him in. <laughs> <laughs> melee weapon with me at least until we get a really good supply of ammo going okay speaking of which let's actually focus on um oh man look at holy crap look at my diamond chisel so fighting with it brings the durability way down quickly that makes no sense whatsoever absolutely no sense why is it that i can go hit for 30 minutes on hardness 10 carbon and the thing only goes down about 15%. But as soon as I hit a beetle, soft flesh, underbelly, it almost breaks it. That just doesn't compute. That doesn't compute. I think uh, they need to work on that. Work in progress. Work in progress. That's what it is. Okay. A lot of things to do. I'm getting a little, get a little sidetracked here. Let's mine this. So you can see I'm getting plutonium and lithium and uranium from all this. More plutonium there. Um, actually, we didn't get any uranium from that, but not, that's fine. I mean, we don't, not, it's, not like, it's not like we need it right now, but uh, can we get in here? Yeah. So let's put that there and that there. All right. What was the other thing we needed the that this thing module for? Uh, we were going to make something else. We made the wrench. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's get, let's get a bunch of that going. Uh, so we, we need to make batteries first or power cells okay hold on a sec yeah it does need actual power cells not batteries oh yeah remember we got to throw stuff away so uh all right what did we make <laughs> i'm like so confused here we made the the only thing we made in here was the wrench okay so we need to throw away one of those and one iron gotcha okay But, wait a minute, did it consume it though? Because didn't I have two of those? It must have consumed it. Because I, I made two of these. Okay, so... Maybe it's just when you build stuff from the build menu as opposed to make it in here. I don't know, we'll have to pay attention. We'll have to pay attention to that. Or maybe it's a random thing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. I am not sure about that. Cast iron. Ah, oh, okay. So, anyway, back to this. We need lithium and silver for fuel cells. So let's go ahead and grab um, lithium. And I'm gonna split this. Yeah, let's do. Actually, I don't think I have a bunch of silver. I have some. We might have to go down into the mine and get that. Yeah, I think that's. That's molybdenum, aluminum. Yeah, this is all I got for silver. Okay, so let's just... What was that, a 2 to 1 ratio? Uh, for the battery... Yeah, 2 lithium to 1 silver. Okay, so we want 32 lithium. Um, we're going to go back into that mine anyways, to, so I can show you guys the diamonds. So we'll... Um, we said 32 of those. Wait here, let's just grab all of them. Okay, so let's make a crap ton of power cells with that. What's the matter? Oh, hungry and thirsty. So let's go here. Um, let's take a whole thing of this, and that should completely uh, take care of us. Uh, I was wrong about this too, by the way. Earlier when I was making this, I said it only does your help, uh, your nutrition halfway, but it's actually one to one. So if you are pretty much all the way down. 
you'll consume an entire jar, but it'll get both your hydration and your nutrition back up. So anyways, if you guys mention that in the comments, remember, I haven't seen your comments yet uh, because the, these three episodes, uh, what is it? Three, four and five, five I've done all back to back today. All right. Anyway, um, uh, let's see health. We need some health. So let's take a bandage. Stabilized. Okay, we were going to... Uh, what are we doing? Oh, we're making ammo. That's what we're doing. Okay, so... You're in the business of making batteries, and then for the actual blaster cell itself, we're going to need uh, the dimalloy. And we have a little bit of that. Where did I put that? That's dur aluminum. Oh, do we not have any... Of the dye malloy, we might have to make some. Those are all nuggets. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to make some dye malloy too. So what does that require? Oh, silver, <laughs> silver and copper. We just burned up all our silver. Oh shit. Okay, actually, no, we haven't. We haven't. Let's stop that. Okay. Okay. So. Now, for dye alloy, we need... Uh, let's go get some copper. Yeah, I was able to stop that, so... You know, I don't think we have a ton of copper either, so... We've got 13. Okay, let's make as many of these. Well, looks like we can only make three. At the moment. And then we'll put those in there. And now we can make... Three. I don't know why it didn't give me the, the the plus thing. Okay. Man, those meteorites just come and come, don't they? Like, non-stop almost. Let's repair this pistol. Beautiful. I still don't understand, though... Why? Oh, that gave us six. So this must be a two per. A two per. Wait, no, it gave us nine. What? Oh yeah, it's three per. Duh. Okay. All right. So now we actually have a little bit of ammunition. I need to go to the settings and change this to the O key again because otherwise I'm gonna reload it when I don't mean to. Uh, replace with O. Okay. Save. Um, and continue, resume. All right, let's load up with O. And we now have a gun, you guys. Fan freaking taxi. We don't have a ton of ammo yet, but we we have a gun. Um, so now we are out of silver. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to make the um, what was it? Oh, yeah, we wanted to make the the chem station in the printer. So that's going to require dye malloy, which is going to require silver. So we... That doesn't... That doesn't. So we could make the printer, but we're going to have to wait on the chem station. Okay, so let's grab, grab a thing of rubber. I am I am gonna have to split this up too because we have to get the exact amounts if if we're gonna make sure that we're not keeping this stuff after it doesn't use it up. I'm gonna make a whole mess of steel at some point too. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and get started with some of that now. But I don't want to burn up all my carbon and iron though. So we have a stack of iron there and a stack of carbon there. And I think that's good enough. Let's just make steel till the cows come home with the rest of this. 103, that's a beautiful thing. And that clears out our inventory. A lot of stuff that we had in there. Uh, we have a little iron left over and we have some nickel. Um, okay, we're going to have to put that somewhere else. What's in here? Oh, right, our, our drink stuff. Okay, we'll put that in there for the moment. Oh, we're running out of space again, guys. What's in here? Okay, we'll put these... Uh, no, we need this, so let's keep that with us. 
Circuit board. We gotta go try that thing out. Okay, so utilities printer. All right. So we need one rubber. Wait a minute. What happened to the... Oh, it's right here. I was going to say. I thought I just got a bunch of rubber out. Okay, so there's our one rubber. Um, Now we're going to need... We got the... NI-CR thingamadoodle. We need five glass. Okay, so we got the five glass. Here, let's turn this into meat. Get it out of our inventory. Okay. Next we... I'm still in, in stable release mode where I'm pressing F3. It's going to take a long time to get over that habit. All right, we need two wires. Okay, so we got the two wires. And I hit F3, of course. Uh, we need an electrum, a talonite, and a power cell. Okay, so let's, since we got these already... Do we need a circuit board? Yeah, we do need a circuit board. Okay, so just a talonite and two steel. So I think there's the talonite, and then we'll grab two steel out of here. Where are we going to store this stuff? In here. Okay. Two steel. Okay, we should have everything. Uh, utilities. Okay, so uh, if this stuff... Oh, no, no, we need an Electrum. We need an Electrum, which is right here. Okay. Now, if none of this stuff disappears from my inventory after we make this, then we know that it's borked. So, he's stuck in the stone there. Utilities, printer. And... Yeah, I guess we'll just put it right there. No, it, it consumed it. Okay. So maybe they fixed that. They must have fixed that. The only reason I thought that, though, is because I thought I still saw some stuff in my inventory after I made something earlier. But maybe I might have been mistaken. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it, though. Okay. Printer. What can we make in here? Bandages, patch tape, wire, circuit boards, landmines, inflatable dome kit, uh, path light kit, and computer screens. Oh, we can make the bolt rifle in here with an upgrade. I like the bolt rifle actually quite a bit. That's what it requires. Heavy assault rifle. Oh, nice. We can now make the heavy assault rifle. Heavy assault magazine, heavy assault rounds. Okay, what does the upgrade for this require? Uh, Talonite, circuit board, a battery, and gun metal. Maybe it's the upgrades that aren't consuming. Here, we'll see. Um, okay, we got gun metal. Uh, it said, no, I, I'm sorry. I got to look again. Old, old guy and all that. Okay. So we need a circuit board, a talonite and, oh no, that needs a battery, not a power cell. <sighs> okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we need the Kim bench to make batteries. I mean, it, that's my guess, right? Uh, upgrade. Yeah. See that, that requires a battery. And those things get close. All right, well, we can't make the Kim Bench until we get silver. And to get silver, we have to go into the mine. So, I think what we're going to do, guys, is... Oh, that's the big boy. He's back there, isn't he? Let's go ahead and save the game. And let's head on into... The mine and I'm going to show you where the big diamond room is and we're going to get a whole mess of silver whilst we're in there uh, what am I doing I'm going here okay so we still oh let's get rid of this methane we don't need to carry that around uh, just got to find a spot to put it we'll put it in here let's grab a couple more berry juices 
we're gonna drink that one and we'll just put that there I'm running out of berry juice I have to make some more it's good stuff all right let's put that back in there and we've got plenty of food uh, the wrench we'll worry about that later I guess I'm gonna stick that in there okay let's go into mine one now this diamond room that I'm gonna show you is also in mine too but it, and it's also like way the hell back in there and hard to find and hard to find your way back out kind of thing so I haven't actually figured out the actual path to this place I started trying to do that on the live stream but I, <laughs> I got lost so uh, all I can tell you is it's way the hell back here so let's just leave the skeleopods alone right now um, I'll grab this I'll grab the silver later uh, I'll grab it on my way back out is what I'm trying to say so you basically come back to here and then from here um, you can't go left because that's a dead end so you have to go around this corner and then you have another little hallway thing and then from there I'm not really sure which way to go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda stay to the left for a while okay Red Sea's Edge is a good sign this goes out into no man's land so I think what we want to do is go left here and um, go left here maybe <laughs> I don't know Ed. that's another no man's land let's go okay so that comes to a dead end there so if we go through here okay this this is a good sign because you come to a big room like this and it has one cobalt and one mercury uh, in it oh you know what though I think this is a dead end room though yeah this is a dead end room okay so let's go back out this way um, we couldn't go any further there right no okay so let's go back through here um let's go no we can't go to the right because that's no man's land let's go back through here I'm just kind of wandering around aimlessly here I, I don't actually know where I'm going all I know is that if you look for it long enough you can usually find it <laughs> okay so you come through like yeah I kind of remember that little tight room there and okay so this comes out to another big room with a cobalt and a mercury is there another path its way through here I don't think so but I wasn't mistaken I'd almost say this was the same room we just came into before I remember seeing that little glitched out thing there though are we sure we're not missing something here No, I'm not seeing it. Okay, so let's go back through here. Starvation warning. Um. Okay, so if we come this way, and we go back through here, I think we came that way before. Okay, let's go this direction. See, the problem is a lot of these passageways are the exact same model <laughs> so it's really hard to tell which one's which and yeah, we know for sure we can't go that way so we come in here we can go through here okay we got another big room and you know sometimes these caves will like spit you out and just you know like, teleport you out of them and drop you on the surface somewhere too so that's kind of weird Oh man, okay. Let's go back through here. We can't go out that way. I think we've already been through here, but it's just like I said, it's so hard to tell because everything looks the same. We might have to Okay, did we come through here? I think so, but I couldn't say for a certainty. Okay. Oh, okay, so this has a a hallway. I think 
this is leading us back out to the to the main entrance though yeah as soon as you see this hallway that curves both ways that means we're going back out okay so let's come back through here now we know that this is the main entrance so there's a right passage that we can go well actually that's the only way we can go okay because because that just dead ends so we know we have to go through here and we have another little curved hallway. Okay, so once we get through the last, you know, structural hallway thing that curves, now we know we're into the mine. So we could either go left or we could go right. And I think I went left. Oh, wait, can we only go left? This is so damn confusing. We came through there. Yeah, I think we can only go left. Okay, well, then we go left into here. Okay, now, is this a dead end? No, that is not a dead end. That keeps going. And we have a right passage. So I think I went left the first time. So let's go right this time. Couldn't say for sure, but... Okay, so we're in a big room that has one thing of cobalt... And one thing of mercury. Hmm. But no other passageways. Okay, let's go back out. And that means we have to go this way. Because remember, again, we come back through here. That's the, the curved hallway. So we know that's kind of our landmark for getting out of here. All right, so we went right, we got into a big room, and there was no other passage. Let's just look one more time. Get out of the way, Scalopod. Make sure I didn't miss something. Yeah, there's no other passageways through here. Okay, so let's come back this way. So we know we have to go through this first little kind of double tunnel area. So when we get to here now... Serious dehydration detected. When we get to here... Uh. Let's eat and drink that. We have a choice of left or... No, we can still only go left. Okay. We can still only go left. All right, so let's go left. Now we have a right passageway and a left passageway. Okay, so now here is where we need to decide. Because I, I think up to this point, if I did everything correctly, this is really the only way we can go. So the question now is, do we go right or left? And I don't remember which way I went last time. I think I went left last time. So let's go right. Okay, so that brings us into here. And we have another left passage and a right passage. Let's go through the right passage. Okay. And then we come into here and we have another right Passage. We come into a big room. Yeah, I don't see any other entrances or exits from this big cavern. And this, okay, we I think we were in here before because this has the little kind of glitched out thing. All right, well, let's go back through here. Okay, we came through this. And I think we came through here. And this is where we decided to go right instead of left. So I remember this cobalt was right in front of the entrance. Okay, so in here now, we can't go left in here. We can only go right in here. Okay, and then in here we can go either left or right. Which way do we go? Let's go. Oh, okay, this is new, though. We're on the right track. This is new. I remember seeing this uh, on the live stream, too. Okay, so we can't go that way, so we have to go this way. So we come through another little 
a kind of ribbed tunnel place. And then again, oh, there it is. There it is. We found it. There he goes, guys. There you goes, guys. Here you go, guys. This is the diamond room. Look how much diamond is in here. It is friggin' insane, man. It's loaded. So there are... Um, Let's deal with these guys. There are... How many are there in here? There's one, two... Um, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's like thir at least thirteen. Fourteen. There's at least fourteen diamond things in here. Isn't that crazy? And there's also another room here with a chest which has diamonds in it. Or a diamond in it. Ooh, this one even has... Oh, no, that's lead. So, for those of you who are not as far along as I am and you don't have the diamond chisel, if you find this room, you can still get the diamond out of it. But believe me, the one that I showed you in Mine B is a, a lot easier to get to. Mine B has a room like this, and it has another chest in there, so you can actually loot two diamonds out of Mine... Uh, or Mine 2, I'm sorry, um, if, you, if you go there. But we can't get in that room there. Okay. Well, guys, there you go. <laughs> it's insane, man, the number of diamonds that are in here. Um, I'm going to mine these all up, and when I'm done, I'll bring you back, and I'll show you what the final count is. All right, guys, we are down to the last diamond node. This is taking a little while. It takes about eight hits uh, per piece, and you only get one diamond uh, per chunk so it's not like it's not like the diamond deposits on lutari um in the stable release where you could get like you know 30 diamonds from one of these things uh, it's only one per so um let's get this last one and then we'll see what our total count is um and you have to watch this too because see there's just a little tiny piece left over and you could miss something like that if you're not paying close attention but you you get about six diamonds oh yeah see i even missed those you get about six diamonds per uh, per node. Um, okay, so I think that's it. I want to actually look very closely at the floor again. Uh, there was one like over here. And make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, there was a whole bunch of them clustered in this little dip right here. I uh, just want to make sure I didn't possibly... Ooh, is that a... Yep, yeah, look at that. Look at that. See how I missed that? Yeah. Oh, shit. What the hell? Is there a skeleopod attack me? Oh, cold. It's cold in here. Okay. I was going to say. Yeah, you really got to watch this, man. You really got to watch this. That, I, I would have completely missed that if I hadn't uh, decided to check one last time. So... All right, and then we had uh, we had a few around in here, and then there was a, several of them clustered around in this area. So I think I got them. I think I got them. All right, let's take a look and see what the total. Remember, I we looted one from the crate, so we have a total of two stacks and fifteen more. So basically, you can expect. To pull about 115 diamonds out of, well, 116 if you get the one out of the crate, uh, out of this room. That's not a bad haul. That is not a bad haul at all. All right, you guys. Well, I think that wraps up uh, this episode. It is quite cold in this cave. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can figure out how to get the hell out of here. And I'm going to hit silver nodes on the way out. Uh, we don't really need mercury or cobalt right now. Um, so is this a no man's land? Yeah. Uh, we don't really need mercury or cobalt, so I'm just going to hit the silver on the way out. And then, um, in the next episode, we will, um, what are we going to do? We need to make, yeah, we're going to, we're going to make the, the chem, the chemistry station because we needed silver for that. And, um, and then we'll go from there, okay? So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. 
leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode, assuming I'm not lost in this cavern forever. Goodbye.